Hi, welcome back to another part of Ben's Machines. Thank you very much for joining us. This is part two of the LS Tractor Project Rebuild. So in this video, what I'm going to show is the electrical or the wiring harness uh, portion of the mock-up. So part one, you saw basically the introduction of the new project and unboxing or taking out all the individual parts that came with the tractor. So you saw there, there were big components and then there, was, there were wiring harnesses, ECUs and things like that. So this video is a, it could be used as a reference for anyone online or on YouTube where you want to understand what's going on behind the, the dash of your tractor. So um, let's just dive right in and uh, we'll start showing you the individual parts. All right, so we're going to start on the, the right hand side of the, the tractor where the brake side is, so the, where the brake pedals are. So the very first step that I did is I took a segment of the wiring harness and I just basically like drooped it right, right across or right on top here where the steering column was. Um, that was so that, you know, things, things are, you know, the wiring harness is more or less where I thought where it belonged. I'm not affiliated with LS tractors, therefore, um, you know, um, I, I don't have an inside track where the components or where the, the wiring, uh, goes. I'm just sort of using common sense and you know my experience to try to gauge where things um, were, were located. So let's just talk about one of the first components that uh, that I, I temporarily mocked up and that is the the foot the foot control. So this is the the throttle the, the foot for throttle so that component was was in the box and I basically bolted it temporarily in place with two bolts from so these are the two bolts that that you can see but the controller itself or the mechanism itself is is underneath and we'll see it in the in the, a little bit on in the video so that was one of the first components i hooked up over on this side um here's the the hand throttle so this mechanism right here is the hand throttle and you'll see that it had a it has a, uh, a connector here. So I found the connector for the hand throttle and here it is right in here. So I'm just, there it is, I'm just kind of shaking it. So I knew that once I found that this connector is in the vicinity of the hand controller, then I had the right side of the, the wiring harness in place. Um, the other the other component that I installed was the the diagnostic port, which is right here. There was two machine screws that hold this in place, and then there is a a connector which I'm going to point use my pointer. Maybe come down here. So right here where my, where my flash where my uh, um, screwdriver is pointing, that's the connector right here for the diagnostic tool. Um, right, right up here, right in this, this area right here where my screwdriver is, there's a, there's a plunger type switch. And this switch is basically used to, to sense when your, your brake is on or off. And this is going to be tough to see, but there's a, there's also a connector a connector that's on that that plunger style switch so I plug that in so you see that right here where there's that that's that switch with the little kind of blue the blue uh, the, the baby blue uh, boot that's that's the component right there um, so right here this is called the uh, the flasher or the unit flasher so this was easy to installed or mock up because there is really just one one bolt that holds this in place on the other side up here there's a relay and this is this is your glow plug relay 
So I'm pointing at it right here. So there's just basically one, one screw or one bolt that just holds this in place. And I've got, I just got a, a bolt here temporarily holding that in place. Okay, so let's go around to the firewall section. Um, one, of the, one of the things that I, I relied on for, for to get myself situated where the, the wires goes is that there was a hole in the firewall here, here, and then right here underneath where the bell housing was. So whenever I found these, this grommet and this grommet and this grommet, which was already on the wiring harness, I knew that I knew that something there had to be wires that were leading into the engine, the engine part or the engine bay based on where these things were located on the wiring harness. So this one was round. This one was round. The hole here was round. This hole was round and this hole underneath here was was oblong. So I started by by shoving this whole bundle wiring bundle here through the hole. So this these two contacts or these two parts of the of the wiring harness connect somewhere on the engine and we'll see that in the later video when we when we install the engine. Um, there's another like Y part of the of the wiring harness that goes down and I'll show you that in a few seconds. And then right here there was a there was a, a grommet and then there's a little portion of the wiring harness that kind of came through. And right here, this bolt was missing a nut, so I, I guess intuitive, intuition told me that this is probably a, a ground location. So I just attached these eyelets to this bolt to act as the ground. And then right here, well, this, this is part of the wiring harness that's for the headlight. And then this goes somewhere on the engine. And this one is not used, so whenever we have the engine installed, or before I get the engine installed, I'll coil this up nicely with a tie wrap, and I'll and I'll put it, I'll put it in a place um, that so that it doesn't get damaged. All right, so this part of the video requires you to come underneath the tractor. So. Part of the wiring harness that comes into the engine bay comes down here like this. It gets held in place by this metal strap that's welded to the tractor. And then it moves down over to this area here, which has another metal strap that holds it to the tractor. And then, and then basically there's two two connectors here. Okay, so there's a connector right here. So there's a large one and a small one. Um, so I, I tied this in and I tied this one in. This, sorry, this small one here, okay, is linked to the, to this device right here, which is the foot throttle control. So there's those two bolts that I was showing you up above. And this is essentially the bracket and then the, the mechanism right here, which is the throttle control. So I, I can't, so you see as you push down, you basically rev the tractor up like this. So you'll find that the connector for your throttle control is underneath here. And this is it right here. Here's just a general view of what the tractor looks like underneath. This is, um, or I believe this is the, the canister that holds the, the fuel filter for the hydraulic system. Okay, so let's, let's go back up. So now we're gonna come back up on top of the tractor and the area right, right behind the steering wheel. So essentially this is the console. I have the, the console right here. So, the next step that we found in the wiring harness are these two leads, or these two wires right here. So this one and this one. These go to your key switch, okay? This, this one right here, this is going to your PTO switch. 
So if I just take the, the console like this, here's your PTO switch. So it's gonna, that part, this connector right here is gonna tie into this, okay? Right over here, these two right here, these gray connectors, they, they go to your dashboard. So I'm gonna plug those in into here. Um, and the other, maybe if you can see this, I installed this device right here. That device is a buzzer, so apparently, apparently this tractor will make noise or there'll be a buzzer if, some, if it doesn't like something. So this is basically the little noise maker. Um, there's a kind of a metal strap here that I just folded over to secure the wiring harness in place. Um, I'm just gonna, so do you see this branch, this part of the wiring harness right here? Right here of this wiring harness, there's a, a white connector. And where this is going is right over, right over to your, this is going over to your, to your selector switch place. So your hazard, your horn, your lights, and this other switch here. So that connector is basically tying into to all these. This thing, I just have it temporarily mocked up. There's just uh, four screws. So one here, one here, and then there's one, one here and one on the other side. So the next, the next thing that I installed is the unit controller. So the unit controller is held in place with two bolts. So there's a bolt here, and then there's a, there's a bolt right here. The bottom bolt is tied into like an, an L style bracket. So th this bracket here is not big enough alone. So they installed a, an L bracket to tie in this with one bolt here and one bolt there. This is the temporary bolt I have in place that holds the, the unit buzzer on the other side. Um, uh, this, this connector right here is going to your, your selector switch for the, the manual regen. So that, that connector is going to this selector switch right here in the back of the console. Um, so moving a little bit down, I had to install this plunger style switch and that's to sense whether when your clutch is engaged. So as I move the clutch pedal, there's a metal tab that actuates this plunger. So that was the other switch I had to install. And then there was a corresponding, there was a corresponding connector that, that it went to. Then I installed this, or this box here. This is your, I believe this is your relay box. So for your brake, rear PTO, headlamp, and headlamp and starter motor. So as, this is what this looks like when you take the cover off. So that had, you know, two bolts, one here and one here to bolt that in. And essentially it had two, it had two connectors, one here and one here that, that I had to install. So moving on, then there was the, the fuse panel or the fuse box. So there's a bolt here and a bolt here to hold um, the, the unit housing uh, in place. And then of course there was the, the connector. It's getting a little bit difficult to see now since everything is, is, is really concentrated here, but I just found the, the connector that, that matched up to, to this and I, uh, I installed it. The, the one component that kind of give me, or that I, I think uh, I'm not exactly sure or clear about, is this one right here. So there's a bracket here that had two machine screws. And when I saw this bracket, this, this switch or this, I think it's a proximity switch, the, the, the bolt pattern matched perfectly with this. So I just temporarily mocked up and put this in place but then I noticed this right here. 
This is the, the shuttle ship. And right here, there's a, there's a flat in the round bar with a little bolt here. And this bolt is hand tight. So I believe that at one time there was something that was, that was placed here. And I don't have it in terms of, of the, the spare parts. And it's possible that this, this part that was here may be, may be breaking the beam or, um, or, or um, is being sensed by the switch so that the controller knows when you're in forward, neutral, or reverse. So if anybody knows um, if a part goes here, um, I would appreciate if you can maybe add it in the comments below just to share your knowledge or share, share that with us uh, because it's possible here that I'm missing something and I'd have to get that. Um, and then there is a, I basically put this, this cover in place. So this, this entire cover right here is being held in place by these bolts. So that was easy to sort of situate. And then, and then there's a, there's a plastic, there's a plastic console piece that basically fits right in here. I found, um, the bolts that hold that in place, but I, I left it off for now until, you know, I, I decide or I make this video and uh, give a, make an opportunity for everybody to see um, what's going on basically behind, behind the console, what's going on here, like under, under these panels. So once this video was made, then I'm gonna move ahead with with finalizing the the installation of of all these parts so my plan is probably take each one of these bolts off put a little bit of anti-seize on it i know it's probably a little bit overkill because you never know i hope i never have to go back underneath here again but you never know and i don't want any trouble with um with bolts getting getting seized in place or or locked up but before i did that i just wanted to share share with you or share with everyone uh, just a, a visual reference of what's going on behind here and right here in the firewall before I go further with the, the rebuild because in the next video chances are everything is going to be you know filled in here the the, the, the panel is going to be in place the side panels they'll be in place but you never know, maybe we'll come back in here again once we get some clarification on what's going on here, but that shouldn't be a big deal because these panels are, are quite easy to take on and off. So that's gonna be it for in today's video. Thanks for joining us. Um, I'm really enjoying this process. Um, this is just a snapshot of some of the progress that I've made to date on, on this part of the tractor. In the next video, I'm gonna be showing you parts of, of the engine and, and, and what, you know, where, where I'm at with the engine, where I've got to install the, the clutch plate. Uh, I got to ins install the, the clutch, uh, um, well, the whole clutch itself. So that will be in a, in, a, in a future video. Once the clutch is installed, then it's gonna be the next step is to mate the engine with the bell housing. That's going to be an exciting video. I'll share that with you. And then when we do that, I'll, I'll show you where, where the, the wiring harness connects to the engine. And then, and then we'll just continue from there. So I don't know how many parts we're going to make, but for now I'm, I'm trying to video document as much of it as possible. So I hope you stay tuned for that. This is really exciting. And I want this to be, uh, I want to share that with everyone online so stay tuned for that it's going to be great and until then have a great day